pull a rabbit out of a hat, you guys. I had to have Ruben and Eric meet me at my next pickup to take the truck because I booked so many loads, the truck was no longer gonna fit on my trailer and I was gonna be able to take care of all of the pickups for today. So they're helping me out. Ruben and Eric just left, but they helped me chain it down. I think I'm going nine, 10 miles to the next one. I'm gonna put something else there and then I got another two stops to do today. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. turning out to be a whole lot of work for this one little partial let me tell you I had to put on my my safety this and my safety that and all this crap and get lost in this steel I don't know steel place where they make steel I don't know <laughs> oh here he comes again hold on so I'm parked inside and they're gonna load me with the overhead crane but I have to stay in the truck, so you guys can't you guys can't watch that. But anyways, I'm here. This is the last piece. Uh, I picked up the tires. I picked up a pallet and a bundle from my DC. I picked up uh, the forklift and oh, he's he's grabbing wood. Hang on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday, you guys. It's Hot Shot Adventures. Thanks for tuning in. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, my camera's crooked. Hey, you guys are seeing crooked. <laughs> Put your head straight. The camera will be straight. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'll have to fix that in a minute. So bear with me, I hope it's not too annoying. Okay, so I loaded all these pieces. I just like, last minute, I was coming back from Reno, 395, making my drops. And at the last minute, I realized like, oh my God, you know, I'm gonna be busy this day and that day running around doing other stuff when am I gonna load my trailer because I have to get up to the Bay Area to pick up some very special uh, Lincoln's some a couple of uh, show cars for um, somebody I guess my my name and my number is being kind of thrown around in the car world um, thank you Ross thank you Jeff thank you Oh, thank you everybody everybody who's throwing my name around so I, I got a call and I got a gentleman who wanted me to pick up a couple Lincoln's for him up in uh, the Bay Area and bring them down to Southern California for a car show that he had coming up so I'm like okay great I will do that no problem well I'm supposed to pick him up tomorrow which is Saturday and uh, I realized on Wednesday like hey if I don't load this trailer Today, Wednesday, um, I'm not going to be able to have to, to take anything up to the Bay Area with me because I was busy Thursday. So at the last minute, I threw together all of these pieces. Everything is, well, no, not everything. Three of the four partials are off of the load board and um, I just kind of threw things together. Uh, everything picked up probably within 25 miles uh, at origin. Boom, 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 boom. And I was done. But um, at destination they're a little bit spread out I'm probably gonna do about hundred and fifty miles to drop them all off so uh, not the most perfect run but it, in that respect I should say but uh, it is an $1,800 bill four picks four drops uh, and it is now 542 on Friday morning I loaded all this stuff up Wednesday afternoon I was off Thursday Today is Friday. I woke up at 12.30. I left the house at 1 a.m. and it is now 5.42 and uh, I am over halfway up to my first drop. So I'm making a uh, pretty good, pretty decent time. I left really, really early, you guys, because I, I wanted to ensure that I could make every single drop on time and also account for Friday Bay Area traffic or the potential of Friday Bay Area traffic. Sometimes you hit it at the wrong time and you're stuck for hours and sometimes, you know, it, everything is all right. So um, since it's kind of a, toy, a coin toss up, I wasn't sure. So I left really, really, really early. Um, for me, even 1 a.m. Is, is early. So um, 3 a.m. Is, 
is early for me. 1 a.m. is like, wow, you're really trying to do something here. <laughs> so um, $1,800, oh gosh, $1,800 going up, you guys. And I think it is uh, $1,150 for the two cars coming down. That'll be one pick, one drop. You guys, we are uh, a couple miles away. I'll show you the load at my next stop and then we're gonna get these off. We're gonna get them off really fast. I should be empty by 1 p.m., 2 p.m. at the latest, and uh, hopefully be done, be done for the day. But um, tag along with me, you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. If you wanna see anything else, let me know. I, um, I have been running really hard. I have a lot of things on the, on, the, on the back end that you guys haven't seen or heard of yet. I have a lot of other stuff going on. But, um, so I haven't done a lot of like educational how-to type videos for YouTube. It's been a lot of road videos. And um, I enjoy them. I enjoy recording them for you. I enjoy telling you guys what I'm doing, where I'm at, um, reading your guys' comments and all of that good stuff. Um, but if there's something else that I'm not doing or you want to see me do, please let me know. Um, I can definitely do my best at getting it on my little to-do list. I have a thousand to-do lists everywhere. And um, I can definitely try and um, add some stuff in for you guys if you want to see something in particular. Here at Destination in in the Bay Area, I think I'm in, uh, oh hell, where am I? Livermore. I'm in Livermore dropping off the, uh, the steel plate stuff. It's going to be another overhead crane deal. I think he's putting it into position. moving fast and I delivered the steel already but four tires uh, I think that one's 500 and then the two little pieces here I'm about to drop off the steel was right there and then the forklift is 600 so about to drop these off and we're on to the next one every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave to the system I don't want to be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, or the highway and in the driveway is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You never hear me bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They deceive with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Last drop, you guys I'm tired. <laughs> Last stop. I just made it here. I had like 30 minutes to spare. They're going to figure out how they're going to get it off my trailer. So, and then I'll show you what happened on this trip. It was just one little piece where the rear wheel was. Now it's the whole board. Which is fine. It's had to be replaced anyways. It's just... It ain't gonna look very pretty going down the highway as I get home. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> I'm pumped. Let's do this. It's Saturday. Let's go get these Lincolns. There's no hope, you can still go. I never ran, said a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Some batter in your brain uh, 
That's why they say, fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. We arrange all the bad to okay. Take the worst I say and turn them to a game. Take the best I say and put them on display. On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain. Uh. Never slow yourself down, you can do some more. Push past, start a pain, and you'll find a door. Open it up and finally explore. Grab everything that you thought you could never do before. Uh. And even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 off here in SoCal. Uh, I don't know exactly where I put my camera. <laughs> I took it down because I didn't want it in the heat and Lexi and I washed the gray wolf and we went grocery shopping and now we're offloading these vehicles and I can't find where I put my camera down. So uh, I'm not sure how much you're gonna see of this but let's get in here. These are just, I mean look at this, it's just, it's gorgeous. Oh my god. 